Well, hello everybody, this is Dave Burkus for another insight from Burkonomics. Today, a very small portion of a keynote that I give entitled, Are You Aimed Toward the Exit? It's a quick course about focus, execution, and wealth. It's a chance to see how you begin the process of selling your company for the maximum value. So here we go. First of all, there are six steps toward an effective action in making the exit profitable for your company. Step one, take inventory. You have strategic assets. It's what you own. The intellectual property and trade secrets and business processes you have. Your core capabilities. It is what your team does best. The sales process might be. The creative design or unique user interface might be. Those things are creative opportunities for you to make more on the sale of your business. Step two, Find emotional bidders. It's unlikely to occur, but it's worth the effort. It's a bidder that is desperate due to external threats, like you're stealing their customers, or internal threats, like their new product rollout is a thud. They may have aging products. They may be losing users. You'll never know, but those are the bidders to find if you can, because they'll pay more and they'll pay more for a reason. Step three. Identify potential strategic bidders. Don't focus on either your ability or their ability or willingness to acquire you quite yet. You can never target bidders you've not even considered. So be expansive. Look for potential strategic fit from many industries. It may not just be the niche that you're in right now. Ask yourself, who makes money when our venture makes money? And who makes less money when we succeed? Those are your possible best strategic buyers. Step four, select five target strategic buyers. It is all about their ability to pay your target price. You have to access the credit if it's insufficient cash to find out whether or not they can afford to buy you. What is the average deal size for deals that they've done in the past? Crunchbase and other methods will be able to tell you very quickly what kinds and size of deals they've done. And are you 19% of their revenues? If you're less, you can just be a balance sheet entry for them. If you're more, it's more important to them to do complete due diligence because you will become part of their income statement. What is their willingness to bid? Are they a company that bids often and buys often? Uh, do they have a dedicated M&A team? Have they recently lost another deal and therefore are looking for deals now? And do they have a despised arch rival or two? That would be an interesting time for you to step forward and find that you have a real solution for them. Step five, track target strategic buyers. Monitor for each uh, strategic buyer, the acquisitions they've made, the press releases they've given, the stock price and the analysis reports that they have, any ties with their directors that you may have to be able to get in on the inside, and then look for progress meetings inside your company and theirs. In their meetings, look for their internal champions who must support making a bid. Fill in the organization chart to see where you might fit. It's a good chance for you to see if this is something for them that's important as it is for you. Step six, select the banker. You know, finding one a strategic banker, an investment banker, with industry experience is probably the most important thing you can do if the value of your company is more than about $10 million. If it's less than that, you'll probably have to find a business broker or do it on your own. If it's more, an investment banker will help you to make this process profitable for you and to help insulate you in the tough times during negotiations. Create a series of questions for candidate invested bankers and then you and your board interview them. Decide which one is the best. In summary, take inventory, find strategic or emotional bidders if you can, identify the most likely bidders, select the targets and track the likely buyers, and then select an investment banker. Boy, this was quick, but it gives you the first chance to see one way in which you can maximize your profits in selling your company. Well, I've written lots of books, 13 in all. They're all available on Amazon and other resellers, and I'd like you to take a look and see if any of these are relevant for you. 
This is Dave Burkus for another insight in Burkonomics. See you next time.